So once we've done our primary color correction and resize our image in our first node, the next thing we wanna do is add a second node to do our secondary color correction in. And so to do that, I'm just gonna right click and do add node and select corrector. And then I can drag this into the chain of nodes and you'll see when I'm sort of hovering over the line here, I'll have this add symbol that appears. And if I just drop it there, it will add it into the chain. And what I'm gonna do for a secondary color correction to complete this look is to make some adjustments to contrast and also to bring up the warmth of the highlights a little bit to give me a bit more of that warm glow that I'm looking for with this shot. So what I'm gonna do is go over here to the color wheels and I'm gonna switch out a three-way color into log color. And within log color, I'm gonna make some adjustments first to the contrast. So I'm just gonna bring the contrast up a tiny bit. And I'm also going to make some adjustment to the pivot. Just going to bring that down. Now it looks pretty good to me for where I want the contrast. The next thing I want to do is I want to bring up the warmth of the highlight. And to do that, I'm gonna use this highlight color wheel and I'm just gonna sort of bring up the red value. And sort of adjust that. And that looks pretty good, but I also wanna make a few adjustments back in the three-way color corrector. So I'm gonna go back here and I'm actually gonna switch back into my primary controls here. And again, I just wanna take some more blue out of the image and add in a little bit more red just into the highlights. And that's giving me some nice warm highlights. But what I'm also gonna to wanna to do is go over here into my lift and adjust my shadows a little bit. Just tweak this a little bit, a little green. And with those adjustments, that's looking pretty good. And now if we sort of take a look at what we've done in our secondary color correction, I can show you a before and after. So this is with our secondary color correction applied. And this is before, this is just our primary color correction. And so you can see there's a pretty big difference between our primary color correction, which we're looking at now, and our primary and secondary color correction um, when they're placed together. And just to give us a sense of where we started from, uh, we can turn both those off. And this is sort of our original image. And this is where we are now. And so as you can see, the combination of our primary and secondary color correction has really started to bring this look to life. Now, the final thing that I want to do to complete this look is to put some more emphasis on our subject's face by isolating and desaturating the background. To do that, I'm gonna use a power window, and that's what I'm gonna show you how to do in the next tutorial.